beautiful morning. A lot of surfers out today. I'm gonna try this pile again. Work down there, give it an hour or two, see what happens. All right, first target's Clad Dime. You got something there, folks. Let's see. Ooh. You know, the better sounds whistle through. You can almost hear them through the iron. 30, 31, and I see it. You see it? Let's reel it up. I think we got it there. Yes, sir. Bring the camera in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Ooh. Well, it's a Washington. Silver, though. See how green that is? That's how they used to come out. Pirate's Cove, too. 44? Maybe a 44? If you look at this wall, it goes in and then it bends in, comes in, bends in again, and then straightens out. So the wind and water must have attacked more the to the north, the north southerly here when the wind came in out of the east. You had a little bit of a northerly gradient, but it must have came back from the south and really just whipped this edge off. We're gonna concentrate in here. In. Got to dig, dig like a SOB. Down toward here. Let's see. Got it. I'm gonna walk it down. It's easy if you drop it in between these rocks here. That coin is gonna flip up, and you're not gonna be able to find it. It'll be on edge. Walk her down. Let's see what we got. Drop her. Keep getting them. Yeah, she is. I'm getting multiple tones. Another Lincoln. Not just a regular Lincoln. I wish this thing would open up down here. That's where there's a ton of stuff in here. That's where I got that monster ring. Well, well, sweetheart. <clears throat> Who says you need a metal detector? See that down there? 21. Don't tell me it's going to be another episode of Silver's on top of the ground. Hey. There. <laughs> that was easy. What the dickens? Oh. Oh. What kind of a coin is this? That's another barber, no? Put a little spit on there. That helps. It might be another barber. I don't know. That's worn. That's pretty worn. Definitely silver, but boy, it's thin. The heck is that? Oh, it's a barber. Yep, see it? We got on the front. Barber, barber coins on top of the sand. You gotta love it. Feedback. Uh, that's a nice one. One cent. Yeah, it's a weedy. Another wheat. Yeah, it looks like a horse's rear. There's little animals and stuff. Lead toys you find. It's broken in half though. We'll take it. around in here, see if we can't get another one or two. 25! Look at the surfers. Got another one. I'm pretty sure that's silver. 
Let's reel her in, folks. Silver City. Oh, sweet. Look at the color on that one. That's a rosy. That's a silver rosy. Yeah, put it right up to the sun. See how black that is? Look at that core. It's gray as can be. So, on this beach, you guys are like, wow. Look at, look at all the silver. You were in here in 2013. You see this rock line? It's right about the center of this beach. And I'll never forget this. You saw that huge ring I wear all the time with all the diamonds. Well, that came out from the end. There was a tidal pool. It circled around, dropped off on a cliff. It came down. It was all rock, just like this. But figure it down here and figure water. There was a little bit of water in it. It circled around down by the culvert. And I got a class ring. Dale got an 18 karat crushed band. And I got the monster ring and the drink. And we were getting Indian head pennies all along here. But right on the middle part of this beach, there's a pathway made out of rocks. It looks like that. It's like a rock pathway. It goes out and there's a big circle. And this is when all the sand's blasted off. And there's so many barber halves in that big circle, you're gonna shit your pants if you ever see it. I've only seen it once and it was awesome. I mean, man, we filled up a bag full of silver. Roger got a King George copper on the end. All kinds of brass, pillboxes, all kinds of cool stuff. So, we'll keep going though. Uh oh, 14, 14 fellas. I think we're gonna have signs of a of a southern cross here. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, sweet. Oh, look at that. It's a part of a cross. Oh, holy smokes. That's heavy. It don't look gold though. Ah. It's part of it. You know, I dug a piece this morning that looked almost like. Huh, that's an old one. Probably copper, some sort of a plate over copper. See that copper core in there. That's a clad one. Not much on that other end. It's all down there on the southern side. So here's the wrap up video for the shale pile. Um, bring our thing over here and uh, did get across. Uh, got a little. Move this out of the way. Make it easy. I did get a piece of a cross. I went back that afternoon. I stopped back by. I went out in the morning and got some of this. But I did stop by in the afternoon. I got a cross. It's uh, just plated. Probably copper. Nothing spectacular. Uh, same place I got that cross. Silver cross. Um, I got a 1942 quarter. So that was two. And the day before I had gotten another one, so there was two 42 quarters. I did get a silver Roosevelt that night when I stopped back by along with that cross. And I got an 1892 Barber Dime. And then I had gotten the Barber 1916 Barber Dime earlier. And the 1919 Mercury Dime. Six silvers out of there. Um, the southern side produced better, had more erosion than the northern side. Um, the, the, the tide was a plus tide on that nor'easter, so it, it did come up enough to grab some sand. And, uh, but the problem with that storm was, e even though it came in on a, one, a minus 1.2 tide, it came in on the low tide in the morning because that's when the low tide was so you didn't get the kind of damage we really need we need, really need to wash that whole pile down and it was close but it didn't happen so did good six silvers I did get two uh, wheat backs quarter nickel a couple of dimes um, on the night when I went back I got this it was sitting on top of the sand it was just a stainless steel backing for an earring and I got the horse's ass. Uh, you find a lot of these lead toys and Cracker Jack premium toys. Um, so I found this there. It was a little lead toy probably from the 40s. Just half of a horse. So 
It's probably the find of the day. <laughs> no, I love the 1892 Barber. So, so six silver total. Um, the beach, it's a funny beach, you know. I, I, I know a lot of people say, well, there's not a lot of jewelry. But, you know, if you look at some of these beaches, like Ancient and Pirate's Cove and... I've worked those areas where the the top shelf of the beach, and you think of you think of the shelf being the top up upper layer of the beach, and then you got your wet sand and then your water. So these top shelves are going to collect mostly coins, and the closer you get down toward the water, the more rings you're going to find. Um, I was lucky lucky enough to find that beach way back when it was 2011 when when I found that thing. And um, what happened was that whole beach, and I talked about it on the video, It wa there was a big tidal pool that washed out. That was when I got that, that monster ring and I wear it all the time. And um, there's all kinds of rings there, but the problem is, is that there'll be some on this, this top layer of a beach, the shelf I call it. But the farther down into the wet, air, wet sand areas you go, the more rings you're going to find. And uh, the less trash you're going to get too. So, um, and I remember, like I, I explained it in the video about the little rock pile in the center, the tidal pool. Um, I forgot to mention that when I was there one time, I had gotten a gold wedding band, and it had an inscription from the 90s. It was the day after Dale got his uh, got his 18 carat, and Roger had gotten the King George copper on that beach. But I went back, and I had dug a ring. And it was, either, it was either 10 or 14 karat gold. It was a yellow gold ring. And it had a small black block, black onyx stone. And the funny thing about that ring I found was, I'm telling you, the workmanship. Somebody had taken that ring and they had feathered it and worked it. And it was all kinds of etchings and all Victorian era stuff. I mean, incredible. So there's some very old stuff. And it was right down on that. When that beach sloped down, that's where all the jewelry started to show up and out further. But the problem was the cut was only so big, and then it went back up into a sandbank, which is typical on the beaches up here. So we didn't really get all the way down, which which probably would have been it would have been monumental. So, uh, but no, I did get that ring. Like I say, it was on the end and. Uh, right down where the culvert rounds out there was a big round out and then it turned it was one big tidal pool across and uh, It was it was crazy. It was all kinds of cool stuff coming out of there. So yeah, there's rings out there um, The problem is is once again, we're hunting that upper shelf area and Your coin ratio is going to be much higher to rings But once you enter that wet sand area upper wet sand lower wet sand the ring ratio goes higher higher and higher less coins more jewelry and you look at a beach up high more coins more trash less jewelry so uh that's pretty how much how it goes you know um on just about every beach so but pretty successful hunt nonetheless we got six silvers so we can add that we are up to 12 for the year um and i have my other video that i haven't posted yet and you're gonna love it I uh, had another pretty good day, so uh, we're going to put that on and tonight, hopefully too. So, uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.